Well, also, as the evening progresses, we'll be able to see what Michael left behind in the Florida Panhandle. Jan Pomresny is in Destin with an update on the conditions there. Well, much of the Florida Panhandle reeling from what is being called a historic storm. There has never been a storm with this kind of wind intensity in the 150 years of recorded storms here in the Florida Panhandle. And officials are also letting people know that the road to recovery after the storm passes through will be a long one. Hurricane Michael slamming into the Florida Panhandle. A monster storm gaining intensity with the potential to cause catastrophic damage. Probably as bad as I've ever seen it. Florida's governor issuing a stark warning to any residents who didn't evacuate. Now the storm is here. The time to evacuate in coastal areas has come and gone. Some residents who decided to stay sharing photos of where they are riding out the storm. Many bridges connecting islands to the mainland now closed. What's the most surprising uh, and, and the most astounding, to be quite honest, is how quickly the storm surge has taken over this, this town. Officials warn of a storm surge that could reach 14 feet in some areas. Storm surge is going to be the worst where the eye makes landfall. So not only is it going to bring 14 feet of ocean water and coastal flood inundation, there'll be wave action on top of that. Tens of thousands of customers are already without power. Officials say it may not be restored for days, possibly weeks. President Trump received a briefing on the storm by FEMA. I had a long talk with uh, Rick Scott, Governor Scott of Florida. Very well coordinated with all of the states. Millions of people across six states are under hurricane warnings and watches as the storm is expected to blow over Georgia and the Carolinas in the next few days. And they have thousands of resources, manpower, uh, personnel waiting to come in and help once this storm passes through. That also includes 20 utility crews who are going to be ready to uh, help out with the electricity. Crews from 20 different states. So everyone pitching in here waiting to do what they can, but they first have to wait for this storm to finish bringing this path of destruction before they can to even begin to assess the damage. Live in Destin, Florida, I'm Jan Pomerantz. Now back to you.